Hey guys, Fluffy Meowington here, and um, today I want to talk about Dota 2 bugs and Steam bugs, uh, mostly related to voice. Um, however, the first thing I want to talk about is settings not saving, because that's plagued me for a long time, until a few days ago when I was like so annoyed that I had to fix it to not go insane. Um, uh, basically what I did, I did two things, uh, so I don't know, I did them at once, which means I don't know which one did it, but fortunately it's both, you can do both in one session and it won't take long. You go to your Steam folder, right, and select everything, deselect Steam apps and Steam EXE, delete everything else. Um, that's just like Steam settings and Steam client assets and whatnot. Um, that that's gonna make up a couple dozen megs at best, I would imagine. Like it, I have really slow internet speeds, and doing this and the thing in the next step, um, it only took me like less than 20 minutes to re-download everything. So I have 750 kilobyte per second max download speed. So yeah. Anyway, you delete all that, um, and then you go into Steam Apps, Common, Dota 2 Beta, and then in here, you want to go through every folder and search for VPK files. There's none in here. And also, you leave the DirectX folder alone. And these VPK files. Uh, there's more somewhere else here. So basically, Delete everything except DirectX folder and VPK files out of the Dota 2 folder. And everything in the Steam folder except the Steam Apps folder and Steam EXE. Um, all this while Steam is shut down, of course. Um, then you launch Steam, let it update. Let it fix Dota. That shouldn't take long. Then verify files on Dota and then when you launch it up, it should remember your settings which is fantastic because it also remembers your match settings now, your matchmaking settings, like which region you want and languages and shit. And yeah, after doing all that stuff manually every time I launched Dota for months, it, yeah, great stuff. However, moving on, um, I then had the, the issue that after deleting all my Dota 2 saved settings, now my voice was acting up. And um, the first issue was it would automatically key me up. And I've honestly, I have no idea how I fixed it because it was set to push to talk on Steam uh, settings, voice. Um, yeah, to, set to push to talk push to talk key V, and in-game it's V as well. I don't know if that's a conflict or not, but I don't think so, because after I did some stuff, which I'm gonna go into, um, it works in-game with V now, so having the same key, I think in-game is just Steam voice, so, like, it's not a separate in-game thing, really. Right, um... One thing you can do if it's automatically transmitting, I wouldn't recommend it, I'll give you other suggestions in a second, but one thing you can do, and people have recommended to me, because it's um, a fix for constantly transmitting in many Steam games, is changing your audio device in Steam to something that isn't actually your microphone. So this is my microphone, this is set as default. Now if I were to set this as default, I won't, because yeah, why would I? Um, Set it as default, click OK, um, and then, you know, like you're still gonna key up in-game, but obviously no sound's gonna come out because your bogus mic is connected to it. Uh, so that's one way of doing it. I really, that solution, in air quotes, didn't really satisfy me at all. So I decided to instead go into the config and check out what the deal was with my... Um, binds and the thing is plus voice record is the push to talk right 
So you wanna search the file for plus voice record. I should probably just copy and paste it in there. Um, find next. And if you can't find it again, that's good. Um, I had the thing that it was somewhere down here. There was another instance of the command. So every time I change it in-game, it would only change it up here, but not down here. Which means both settings remained intact. And um, so basically every time I tried to to um, talk on Mumble using mouse 4, it would also keep me up in-game. Um, so yeah, make sure you check that. There's on there twice. And then search for... Ah, of course. Uh, isn't that annoying? How can I get that back up? What am I doing? Oh. Yeah, okay. So you search for voice. How can I get it back up? Uh, let's not get into that. Um, yeah, to get back to the constantly transmitting for a second, voice enable one. If you disable this, it also disables all incoming voice, I think. So I wouldn't do that. I would instead disable voice force mic record. But I would first really look into the push-to-talk settings, because, um, yeah, you know, like that, that should really fix it. I mean, if it's set to push-to-talk and you have a valid push-to-talk key set up, then it should recognize that. And, yeah, that's pretty much all I did, and it fixed it for me. So if that doesn't do it, you're gonna have to disable it, I guess, or Google or something, because that's all I had. Um... One other thing you can do if you have multiple keys acting as push to talk and you can't find plus voice record in the config several times, you can make an auto exec and unbind the key that functions as push to talk. That's what I did. Um, on top of, you know, deleting the second instance just to be safe. And yeah, that should about do that. Uh, I just wanted to make this video because it's like there's so many guys out there. Um, as for general bugs uh, regarding settings, you know, like, if it still doesn't save your settings after all this or your voice is still acting up, one more thing you can do is you can delete your Steam Cloud files. However, there's no easy way to do this, so some poor soul has made a really good guide that's very easy to follow. Um, I'll link it in the in the description below. I can't give credit now, I don't know the guy's name. But it's great. And if you still have issues, I highly recommend following the guide, but definitely try to delete the stuff first. And afterwards, if that doesn't work, um, go to your Dota install, properties, and verify integrity of game cache, but I guess you know this. So yeah, um, that's all the suggestions I have for you now and if there's any issues just post in the comments I'll try to help if I can though probably not I mean you know your Google works as well as mine I think but feel free you know I'll try see you next time um, yeah take care